We're a stabbing since I saw thee on ill Clemore Bartat. We're a stabbing. We're at uh, Woodenge, and that side of the road is Durrington Walls. So you know roughly where I am. Normally, when I come to uh, Woodenge, it's raining or snowing, uh, but this time. I thought, well, as I'm passing and it's dry, I'll call in. So, a bit of a dis misnomer wood henge. Yes, it's a henge. Uh, you can't see it now. Most of it's disappeared. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and it was built about the same time uh, as Durrington Walls and Stonehenge. The people that lived at uh, Durrington Walls and gathered here in uh, winter solstices who were probably the ones that built Stonehenge anyway um, and they would have built this I assume ceremonial site um, for I don't know to service the the, the, the camp there are a lot of Iron Age huts late Iron Age huts um, Sorry, late Neolithic huts, settlements uh, in Durrington Walls. So, let's have a see what the uh, English heritage uh, lie panel says. You're standing at the entrance to a timber monument with six oval rings of posts, built about the sixth ti uh, same time as Stonehenge. The wooden posts were a variety of sizes with doors in the largest ring, marked by red pillars, possibly standing up to nine metres tall. Yeah, fair enough. Um, from the depth they were sunk in. The oval rings were broadly aligned in the direction of midsummer sunrise and midwinter sunset, the same as Stonehenge. You may not be able to make out a low ditch and bank to your left and right. That's the remains of the henge. Uh, and two standing stones, probably sarsons, were probably added to the monument. Um, we don't know how it was used, but people placed many objects, animal bones, among the posts. There are actually two burials here, or there were two burials. Um, one were found in the ditch, in the, the, the henge ditch, and the other one is uh, a young child, about a three-year-old child, were buried right in the centre of the, oh, it says there, uh, centre of the, the, the henge marked by a flint cairn. And it was the famous Cunninghams that excavated it. Uh, Maud and Benjamin Cunnington excavated the site, uncovered the postals. They also did the same uh, somewhere where we'll probably go later on, which is the uh, sanctuary near uh, West Kennet. Uh, very, very similar layout, concentric rings of posts. Um, wood engines, it may have appeared about 2500 BC. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a late Neolithic, uh, beaker people, uh, people time, uh, as evidenced by the groove wear that they found. Um, early Neolithic uh, didn't make groove pottery. So it shows where we are. We're here at Woodenge and Durrington Walls. Um, Stonehenge is there. So what they're saying is the uh, remains, the ashes, the, the route from Durrington Walls were along the Avon, long way around, to the start of the avenue up to Stonehenge. And the circus. So it's an area I know well, and I've explored a lot, um, but um, always when it's been <laughs> snowing or raining. So let's go have a look. I don't know whether you can see it, but there's a vague ditch running round. 
Yeah. I'll show you in a bit more detail. Yeah, it's been largely ploughed out, the... Uh, the henge part of it, the ditch part of it. Just vague depressions now. So, the posts represent where the timber posts were positioned. And the size of the concrete posts also represent this, uh, the diameter of the uh, timber posts that are inserted. So you can see the outer ones were fairly slim, what, 30 centimetre, uh, 10, 20, maybe 40 uh, centimetre diameter. These were, what, half a metre, these bigger ones, the next ring in. The next ring again, big ones, close on, uh, well over uh, 750 millimetres, 75 centimetres, headed towards uh, a metre. Then we go back down to thinner ones again. And another ring of a different size. Have we seen yellow ones? No, different, slightly different diameter to back to blue ones. And this is the centre of the henge. So this marks the centre. And this, oh, there's no weird or wonderful offerings on it today. This is the cairn that marks where the, the child, the three-year-old, were buried. Uh, somebody's left flowers, fair enough, but I came here last time and there were doll heads on it and coins on it and all sorts of weird and wonderfuls. People do put decorated pebbles on and things like that, but uh, it's their belief. Let them have it. Eccentrics rule the world sometimes. So, just quick panorama, as you can see, concentric rings all the way around. Now over there used to be an information uh, tablet, uh, but someone stole the brass plaque. And so some weird and wacky uh, tree hugging lay liners put a piece of plastic there with their own interpretation on how it connected in with God knows what. Oh, but that's been taken down, thankfully. It talked about how your spirit were influenced by this and that and other and yeah. <laughs> but you get a good view of the uh, the henge and as you can see <coughs> I don't know whether you can with GoPro but just over there is the the out no, the bank of Durrington walls one of the it's a super henge one of the largest henges in the area and as I say inside uh, were a lot of settlements uh, I think it was Mike Parker Pearson, I'm not sure, um, who did excavations here and uh, came up with a theory that, um, I think he was the one that discovered the, the avenue down to the river and then back up from the river to Stonehenge. He came up with a theory that people gathered here um, because he found huge amounts of uh, animal bones. So they gathered here for a, a big feast, a big celebration. Um, and he, he is of the opinion that it were um, a midwinter celebration where uh, the dead were remembered and the ashes of the dead were taken up to uh, Stonehenge. Which marks it again as a, a late Neolithic 
site because uh, early Neolithic practiced incarnation. Is it incarnation? Excarnation. Um, where uh, bodies were stripped of flesh, presumably by birds and animals, and then selective bones placed in a barrow, um, uh, which we'll be going to later. Uh, a ex good example is uh, West Cannet Long Barrow, Chambered uh, Barrow. And you, you find that usually there's not a full body's worth of bones, but there are um, selected leg, arm, skull type uh, collection of bones with some offerings. Well, I've actually gone round Wood Edge and I'm dry. <laughs> I'm not turning blue.